Hi everyone, this is Allegra Davis Hanna, and this is our first Canvas countdown video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download or export a Blackboard course and import that course into Canvas. The first thing I'm going to do is select the course I want to copy over. So I'm going to go down to the fall of 2020, and for, this pur for today's purposes, I'm going to select my Forms of Literature course. So the course opens, and in the left-hand course navigation menu, I'm going to scroll to the bottom to Packages and Utilities, and then I'm going to select Export or Archive Course. Now, because I've exported this course before, a zip file is right here for me to select, but if there isn't a file right here or you'd like to export it anew, you just click Export Package, and you'll get some options for what exactly to export. Most of us want to select all. That's going to move all of our content, all of our folders, all of our um, images, all of our lessons, all of our files and PowerPoints, all of that stuff will get moved over if we select all. One piece of advice is to delete anything from your course that you don't want to get copied over. So quizzes you're not using anymore, videos that you directly uploaded to Blackboard, you don't want to move any of those. So just delete those files before you copy the course. Or if you don't want to move over a particular item like journals, you can deselect it there. But again, most of us are going to click select all all content areas, and then once we've selected those options, down here in the bottom right, we're going to click this teal button that says Submit. This is going to tell us that the action has been queued, which means it's in the process of creating the export zip file. This will take a few minutes, probably, because Blackboard is putting all of your files together into a zip file. You can just click Refresh right here and wait for the file to appear, and I'm gonna be back when my file is ready. Okay, once your zip file appears, with the date and time that you selected it, you can see export file and it's a zip file. I'm gonna click on the name of that file to begin the download. If you're in Chrome, you'll see the downloading file down here in the bottom left. If you're in Firefox, you'll see something up in the top right that shows a file is downloading, but it will take several minutes to download this file. And once it's downloaded, you can access it again from here or from your file explorer in the downloads folder. Okay, once your file has downloaded to your computer, you may want to save a copy of it to your OneDrive just to keep it as a backup or save it to your computer itself. And then you're going to open Canvas. Now you may not have access to our Canvas platform yet, but once you do and can log in using your single sign-on, you'll see unpublished courses down here at the bottom. Those are courses that haven't started yet and aren't available for students. And you'll see published courses here at the top that would be any course that you're enrolled in as a student or any course that's going that's in progress or has started. You can always see a list of your courses by clicking on the dashboard or if you go to courses you'll get this little pop-up menu that shows you the courses that you're enrolled in. But let's say that you want to copy the Blackboard file not into an actual course yet, but into a sandbox so that you can play around with the content, edit it, refine it, perfect it before you copy it into a live course space. To create a sandbox for yourself, just click right here on Start a New Course. And then you can come up with a name. And the name is not really important because this is not something that students or other people are likely going to see, but just name it something that makes it clear to you what it is. And then click on Create Course. And you'll it will automatically open up for you a blank, empty Canvas course space. So I'm going to go right over here to Import Existing Content. And I'm going to select Blackboard zip file because that's what I downloaded out of Blackboard. It will give me the option to choose a file. And I'm going to choose my most recent file in the downloads. And you can always make sure you can verify the file name or the time that it was modified. There it is. I'm going to open it. 
It's going to ask me, do I want to copy all content? And in this case, I do. You don't need to worry about overwriting, especially if you're copying into a sandbox. And then I'm going to click on import. And this process is going to take a few minutes as well. Pretty soon this blue bar is going to turn green and that just means the files have been uploaded. And then once it's uploaded, you'll get to this next screen. This is telling you that it's in the process of putting all of that content where it belongs in your Canvas course. This might take a little bit longer. It might run pretty quickly. It depends on how many other things your computer and Canvas are doing. But once this blue progress bar fills up, it will say completed right here instead of running. So once you see completed, you'll also maybe see some issues that happened when the court the content got moved over. You can click on the number of issues to see what they were. A lot of times it's a missing link or an image that didn't get copied over. And that's because of the way it was saved to Blackboard or the way the two things talk to each other. But I don't have any major issues, but if I want to see what do you mean missing link found in imported content announcement message, you can click on it and it will open for you that message and you can see that this bitmoji photo of me did not get moved over. So not a major issue at all. No content is missing. No problems really with the quizzes or the lessons or anything like that. And so all of my content is still there. My announcements have all gotten copied over. My modules have lots of files in them. And in the next video, I'm going to show you a side by side of what the Blackboard course look like versus what the Canvas course looks like. So you know how to find all of your stuff once it got converted. Thanks, everyone.